Welcome to Sports Center. I'm Rod Smith, joined by Josh Lewenberg and the Raptors. Josh, back at it versus the Lakers a day after Fred Van Vliet was fined thirty thousand dollars for ripping into the officiating. Now, yesterday you thought that the punishment could have been worse than that. So, what did you think of that fine? Well, he's got, he got his money's worth and then some. I know a lot of people expected it to be a larger fine. I mean, typically 35K is the high end for fines like this. And that's exactly what Paul George got a couple of years ago for criticism of the officials. But he didn't curse. He didn't mention an official by name. And the comments from PG paled in comparison to what we heard from Van Vliet a couple days ago. Of course, those words were really strong. So, yeah, I expected it to be closer to 50K, which is the max that the league can fine a player for this infraction. But listen, I mean, Fred is making more than $20 million this year. Whatever it was, he was going to be able to afford it. And as he said yesterday, it wasn't really about the money for him. Clearly, he wanted to get this off his chest. He did take accountability for his words and called them unprofessional by his standards, but he stood by his message, and it sounds like he's gotten quite a bit of support from his peers around the league. Now, starting with Scotty Barnes' ejection on Monday night, and then Van Vliet and the rant, this has been quite a week for the Raptors. Do you think all this drama might carry on to the floor and impact their play tonight? Well, even if Van Vliet had a point, and even if players around the league agree with him, notice that they're doing it quietly and behind the scenes. I'm not sure that this is a cause that you want to be putting your voice and your name to. I'm not saying that there's a target on his back necessarily, but let's put it like this, and you mentioned it, Rod. The last couple games, the story has been Raptors versus referees, and I promise you that the crew for tonight they know about that, they're aware of it, and I'm sure they're going to be paying close attention to Van Vliet and to the Raptors. So hopefully the lesson that the Raptors can take from all of this is that they've got to keep their composure and maintain their focus when the calls inevitably don't go their way, if and when the calls don't go their way. They haven't done a great job of it this year. They certainly haven't done a great job of it over the last couple games. So that's got to be a point of emphasis for them tonight. Well, the last time the Raptors faced the Lakers, Van Vliet put up 25. So they'll be looking for him to repeat that at least this evening against L.A. Josh Lewenberg, thank you.